am Jada Williamson, and I have the absolute pleasure of introducing one of my closest friends, Deja Lee. Picture this. Deja and I sat in an almost empty theater watching Avengers Endgame. Now, I had only seen three Marvel movies prior to this day, and none of them consisted of Infinity War. But I was definitely not going to tell Deja that. We sat for two hours, my eyes wanting to close, but the lab next to me made that impossible. Every few minutes, it seemed like Deja was laughing at something on the screen. This only made me join her and woke me up each time. Deja's laugh, smile, and knowing looks are all infectious. You could be total strangers, and she will make you feel welcomed with her presence alone. Not many people have this special quality to uplift your day with just a smile, and I know Deja will continue spreading her light when we part ways. I can't wait for the world to see it and for us to experience it right now, so please give a very warm welcome to the class of 2021's own Deja Mariah Lee. I tend to get hyper fixated on things. When I find something that I really enjoy, it will become the only thing that I talk about for weeks. My family and friends can tell you that I can quickly start a long conversation about any random thing that I fell in love with that day. When I find something that I enjoy, it's very easy for me to put my all into it. Like how I recently became obsessed with the show Survivor after I binge watched the first two seasons that were recently added to Netflix. Another example is my long-running obsession with the cable channel, HGTV. <laughs> Home and gardening television has been on my running list of things that I really enjoy since I was in middle school. There is nothing that I love more than a new episode of My Lottery Dream Home, Property Brothers, House Hunters, Love It or List It, or my favorite, Fixer Upper. HGTV has taught me so much like that a cracked foundation means that you need to plan at home's funeral, or, <laughs> or that popcorn ceilings probably have asbestos. Fixer Upper is one of my personal favorites, mainly because of the magical couple Chip and Joanna Gaines. I admire Chip and Joanna so much because they work as a unit to take an old and run-down house and turn it into something that's almost brand new, but that still has undeniable southern charm. Chip and Joanna get help from all over to aid them in completing their vision. Joanna shops at local thrift stores and antique shops for statement pieces. She often recruits help from a guy who restores and builds furniture and another guy who makes signs. Chip and Joanna are professionals who need help from their team to get their job done. Watching Fixer Upper has not only taught me how to flip and design a home in about four months, but it has also helped me understand the importance of having a solid team. Chip would never be able to get the floors installed and the roof retiled in time if he worked alone. He needs the help of his other contractors and construction dudes to help him get the job done in a timely manner. Joanna wouldn't be able to decorate the houses without the help of her assistant or the guy who restores antique furniture, the guy who makes custom signs out of steel, and occasionally her children. <coughs> We can't flip our houses alone. We need our hand-picked and reliable team there to help turn that rotten dump into a sparkling masterpiece. I've always had time calling in my team. I would much rather struggle tiling the roof alone than call in backup, but some tasks are seemingly impossible without those extra sets of hands and brains. I can honestly say that my most valuable team member is my mom. She's always watched me try to tile the roof on my own, but right when all my hard work is about to go down the drain, she somehow magically knows to call every other person that she knows to come and help me finish the job that I started. My mom has taught me, no, ooh, sorry. <laughs> my mom has helped me grow my team to extensive lengths. And when I'm getting overwhelmed and feeling helpless, she's quick to remind me of the endless web of people that are around to help me finish flipping the house. My team started out small with just my family, but after coming to St. Mary's in the seventh grade, my team grew to unimaginable lengths. Every year, I gained more and more people to help, me flipping my, to help me finish flipping my house, and now, six years later, I have one of the most reliable teams around. It includes over 70 teenage girls and many more members, including some from the St. Mary's faculty and staff. 
Now, with only three months left in my St. Mary's experience, I can honestly say that I would not have been able to do it without my custom-built team. The support that you receive from those around you, even in the smallest actions, can be the cause of a change in your day and even your life. The cheerful greetings from teachers in the halls and the meaningful conversations that follow, the group discussions in the weird study that make the free periods fly by, and the moments of breathtaking laughter that get me through my week. All these little moments have changed my life and have motivated me to finish flipping my house. Now, as I'm finishing my senior year, the end of a very long project, I'm thanking my team. I'm thanking the people who've known me since birth. I'm thanking the ones who've known me since I've come to St. Mary's. And I'm thanking those who met me just a few months ago. In a few months, when I'm no longer in this familiar place, I will always remember my amazing team, which slowly became my family. Thank you.